Popcorn Junkies is about to review... Colette. Colette. Colette, Colette. Now, Colette, Colette. Colette played featuring Kira Knightley and Dominic West mm -hmm. in a movie about the French author's life, really, and yeah. how her yeah, how yeah. her writing um, became... Who knew? Yeah, well, who knew? But yeah. apparently everyone knew. Tell At us who, time, Colette, who is Colette. Colette, I, all I know is that she wrote Gigi. You know, I went to this film dreading it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know. Well, for a number of reasons, least of all because you can't stand Kira Knightley. No, that was no, the only reason. No, I no. Did, I was fearing it was because of Kira Knightley because the story looked really good. I remember when I mentioned to Nadia, uh, how do you? I mean, I sort of was. I felt really eggshelly, not because of anything about you, but because I was thinking hard sell, Kira Knightley movie, Friday evening, we're a bit tired. Yeah. yeah. About. A French author, yeah. costume drama, having just seen The Favourite, which has radically reformed all of our attitudes to costume drama. Yeah. I was a bit weary, but I had I was surprised because in the car going down, Nadia was saying, tell me about Colette. And I said, I haven't got anything to tell no, you. I don't no. know anything about her. That's why it's so lucky we have a librarian <laughs> It was called what? what so was tell us book? about her. La Vagamonde Bond was oh. what she wrote when she was doing the travelling. I didn't know she did. I didn't know that she actually did that in real life. Though. So these Claudine books were big? Well, that's the bit I didn't know. That's well, do exactly you think, would you say it's safe to say I'm just trying to get a grab I'm still yeah, trying to get a grab on her Colette the author whom is played by Kira Knightley mm -hmm. her career splits into two halves Clearly one where essentially yeah. for a grab on it she was writing pulp fiction yes Yes. And, you know, mainstream, slightly sort of erotic and yeah. sort of a bit, a bit Dickensian. Mills and Jackie Collins. A bit Jackie yeah. Collins, a yeah. bit Mills and Booney Mills and, and a bit Booney. kind of, you know, excited. Yeah. Sorry, we've got fruit flies everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and then the latter half of her career, which essentially happens at the end of this film. Yeah. This film yeah. is about her relationship with Dominic West. Sorry, I just spat. <laughs> this film is about her relationship with Dominic West and how... You know, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because a lot of the pre-film publicity about this is, is, is generating all of the kind of debate around how many women in history have been hidden underneath yeah. the kind of reputations of men, how they were responsible for writing stuff. If you think, it reminded me a bit the idea of the wife with Glenn Close, yeah. this idea that yeah. behind every great man there's actually a woman doing yeah. all the bloody work. Yeah, also Big Eyes, you know that film where yeah. they practically yeah. locked her in a room, it was such a Yeah, and that was a true story as well, yeah. wasn't it? So yeah, so this very much really focusing on the story of her relationship with Dominic West, her yeah. husband, yeah. and her coming out really as, as a lesbian, as gay. Was she bisexual? Or was she gay? She's bisexual. bisexual. I find Kira Knightley so watchable because she's so beautiful and she has great charisma on screen and she's a movie star very much in yeah. that way. But for me, she's a movie star, mm. not an actress. I find her very wooden in everything I've ever seen her in, apart from Everest, where she was, she was, she, was, she got a B plus for me in that. Okay. Um, she, Maddie gets really annoyed because Maddie <laughs> thinks she gets an she get an A star. She got a B plus, and so I was just like, oh, I read up a bit about Colette, and I thought, oh, God, this is such an interesting story. And it's going to be mm. thrown away on Kira Knightley. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I went into it. Mm. Were you dreading it? Looking forward to it? No, 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 because I don't mind Kira Knightley at all. Right. Okay. And um, I thought she suited the uh... the part. It starts with a scene where essentially Dominic West has gone to the parents of, of Kira Knightley, isn't it? And he's essentially sort of, they're, they're discussing her dowry or lack of a dowry. Yeah. At the point that Dominic West was at the table, that first scene of Dominic West, I immediately relaxed. Mm. That was the first scene, moment for me where yeah. I saw how at ease he was in the part, yeah. how utterly sort of convincing and he just, he dragged me in and I was captivated by him. He yeah. wooed me and I was just uh, like... I was the same, I thought he was incredible. I it's a part of a lifetime for him. Yes. I was, he so took, he held our hand as tightly as possible, he really grasped did. us and he walked us through the story, yeah. just brilliant. I thought yeah. he was absolutely yeah. brilliant. I wonder in a way if Kira Knightley was as good as she was in it, which I thought she was good, mm. um, was because he was, they were sort of... Of well, showing each other up a bit. Well, well, she, mm, the scenes I, where they were together, I felt like it must be nice to act with somebody that's that supremely confident. confident. People are mm. really silly when they get threatened by good people being around them. Yeah. You mm. get the best people around you and you will always be better yeah. than you were. And, yeah. and in those first, in that first scene, we had Fiona Shaw, who we're all huge oh, fans of, fan. fantastic actress. And we had Dominic West, who I was dreading because mm. the last time so I saw him, I saw his bum in The Wife. Oh, and yes. I was just like, I never want to see no, that No, in The again. Affair, The Affair. So, uh, The Affair. Straight away, she, she was sandwiched between these two really strong yeah. actors. Mm. Yeah. And I too did relax in that first yeah. scene. I thought, yeah. oh. But I liked those early scenes because they were quite minimalist 
past. Yeah. But within it, we got so much of where she got. Yes. What the strength that we were going to see from the mother. She was this incredibly contemporary woman in lots of ways, but yeah. she still was a victim of the time of the times. Exactly. Mm. And I mean, because I'd never heard of the author that Villy, who well, I can't remember his second name. Even. No, no, his Dominic name, West Dr. Dominic West. Yeah. Um, and but because he wasn't an author. Well, no, but at the time he was obviously very big in his circle. Yes. Mm. And um, bigger than her, and that's why it was important mm. that he kept the myth going in yeah. a way. I was really surprised by that because I the Colette that I'd heard of and knew was a Colette in her own right who wrote really good prose. Right. And who right. was considered to be one of the first group of women writing books where women could say their feelings for right. other women, like you know, sexual yeah. thoughts, yeah. etc. You can see why they commissioned and made this as a film. Dominic West, I think <laughs> I mean, it seems it seems almost sexist to say this is a film about female empowerment, about hidden female, you know, talent. One of the things I felt slightly guilty about as I was enjoying this film was, I was, although I thought Keira Knightley was very good, I was constantly willing Dominic West to be on screen. Yeah. Whenever he wasn't on screen, I missed him. And whenever he was on screen, I was luxuriating. And it, now, don't get me wrong. It was his movie. It's not, it a, he's not a nice character. And yeah. it, you know, there are many deviant parts, literally to his character. Oh, but, Force, but it was a it? tour it was. to force his performance. It was, yeah. I thought so, yeah. I mean, I was shocked myself that um, this author that I'd only knew, I mm. knew, in fact, um, as a literary author, suddenly, you know, started off more or less, as we've said, mm. you know, with the, uh, not rubbish, but, you know. Pulp fiction. Pulp fiction. I was absolutely captivated yeah, right was. from the beginning mm. and all the way through the film. I loved the direction, I loved the pace of yeah. it. I loved the, the colour. Was... Did you feel the colour was nice? Yeah, yeah. I thought the, the pace yeah. was excellent. I thought the colours, I thought yeah. everything looked beautiful. Yeah, yeah it did. Right it? from the first scenes in the countryside and the kitchen and the mother did, to then when she moves to Paris and the beautiful, the ornate yeah. mm. yeah. rooms that they go to and that for those first Yeah. It just, the costumes, mm. Kira just stunning, Yeah, yeah. everything, the antiques, it was just a beautiful looking film. It was. But and it was a great story and you know, I loved, I loved to witness decadent hedonism. Yeah. And they yeah. were both that and in many ways they worked. The mm. two of them together, didn't they? Their relationship worked. Yeah. Well, and I liked yeah. that. I thought they were at their strongest as a double act on screen and yeah. in separate scenes when there was a sort of playful but also professional understanding of where they yeah. both stood in each other's yeah. Yeah. sort of shadow. The first shadows. time she says that she was attracted to that woman, yes. I was like, Whoa! Yeah. yeah. Oh, you've got it wrong. It's yeah. Not him, but it wasn't Celine. Like, what? I mean, she just said that over no, dinner. Absolutely. And Dominic West was brilliant. He was very good, but it wasn't seedy. I mean, no, there wasn't, it wasn't a seediness to it. They had like, ownership. They were yeah. both very confident in who mm. they were. Yeah. And in a world where we're constantly talking about how we're all lacking confidence mm. and all our self-esteem, so it was quite, it was quite fascinating to yeah. watch these two people yeah. that were supremely confident in yes, themselves. Yes, exactly. it's Just want to give a shout out to the director. The director is Wash Westmoreland. Very old name. No. But uh, yeah, Wash Westmoreland, but he's known for directing uh, a film that we now use the phrase, Still Alice, with uh, Julianne oh. Moore and Alice Oz, yeah. Coming out of The Favourite, which radically just changed my perception of what was possible with costume drama, I was surprised by how comfortable I felt in this film yeah. and how it, it didn't bother me that we weren't being so inventive with the camera work. There was an understated feel to it mm. that was correct for the mm. subject matter. What I liked about this film was that they were both complicit in what was happening. Yeah. Mm. Kira and I, clearly, they loved each other. Yes. She was fine with that. And who would who would think anything different? Because women did not write yes. like that. Women, when she writes the first line, you know, my, my name is Claudine. Mm. Um, it's about her life. She's more or less been forced into mm. it by him. But what I liked about it was that he was very candid in his own sort of, yeah, this is the way it is. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, he wasn't sitting there, whereas the wife, the film, the wife was getting close, where he wanted to sort of justify yes. his, his yeah. he'd created it, but you'd done it. Yeah. There was no pretense in Dominic no. West. I thought it took a weak turn and it took a misstep at the point that another one of my favorite actresses entered it, which is the actress Denise Goff, who played Missy. Yeah. The stridently, I suppose, lesbian yeah, character. Yeah. Um, I thought it all went a bit odd as soon as Kira Knightley wore a suit. Yeah, which a lot of people in the audience would have been waiting for. <laughs> I have to say, really? the lesbian audience. Oh, right. Is that the big sort of hurrah moment? moment? Well, yeah, she was yeah. great. But, um, well, she did look great, but I did, it, it was like her personality agree, changed so much yeah, with it. Yeah. Well, no, but the thing is, it's a weird one, this. I know what you mean, because she came in in the suit and then we never saw her in the suit again. No. no. But I think that she had 
done that because she she's a femme, isn't she? Yeah. She's a femme mm. in, yeah. in, yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. in lesbian yeah. terms. Yeah. Speak. Yeah. What's it, what are you if you're not a femme? Butch. butch. She, she's not butch. She's a femme. So she came in to just slap him in the face with it. That's why right. we never saw yeah. her wear it again because yeah. right. that's not what she was. No, clearly in the relationship between her and the Denise yeah. girl. Yeah. Was it was fantastic. Well, no, I suppose what I'm saying, I found the roles that roles were clear then. Yeah, the yeah. roles were clear, and I get that. But I thought that I thought the way in which she suddenly became a sort of Matahari-like performer at the Moulin Rouge. It, oh, the Moulin Rouge. I just Rouge thought it. I, no, from a pacing perspective, I thought. I would have liked to have had more of a sense that that was in her earlier. Yeah. Whereas suddenly I'm like, hang on a minute, why is she suddenly doing all this voguing and kind of, you know, coming <laughs> yeah. out of a... But that's what thing. she did. Well, this is, yeah. that's no, nothing as strange as true stories, no, is there? No, yeah. exactly. I think because it was creaky in her life, she was right. looking for something, wasn't she? She had a need to be... She wanted to be on stage with a name on the front of her book. Yeah. That's what she wanted. Yeah. She couldn't have that. So yeah. she wanted to be noticed. Yeah. And that's almost where she kept And she was a hugely creative person. Yes. Yeah. So that's where she went in, into it, wasn't yeah. it? She wanted to be the... He was the star of the show. She was married to the guy that, that was... So that had on every one of Yeah, you know, yeah. You know. and she And that was her way to be sent stage, yes. literally. So she yes. got into sent stage. Mm. Yeah. Mm. To find herself to come back to being an author, I suppose. Yeah, it did seem I love to come, come. Yes, I did too. God, awfully convoluted way to get to her writing in the sense that I'm, I'm saying it's obviously true but to to write mm. to write the first books and then to go and be an actress and then to come back to write mm. you know, by then she'd split up with um, yeah. Dominic West and so she had to make it and she wanted desperately as you say to have her name on the on cover the, on the cover yeah. but that's what I loved about the story yeah. because that is so like life yeah. we think we're going to get what we want by going in a straight line yeah. if you think if we think that's about very all the twists and turns I mean very we're bloody true. social media animals now. Who would have thought that we'd be doing this on yeah. YouTube? Yeah, it's very true. You know, and it's her YouTube. She went. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because I thought it was one of those films where, when you saw the update at the end, you you, you were quite blown away by how significant and important she was. And, yeah. And, and so, Amazing that she got yeah. this other deal. That she. Yeah. They never saw each other again. Yeah. Um, In terms of, of yeah. uh, I mean, as far as I knew, and and reading her when I was younger. She, I hadn't read um, a female author writing about desire in the way that she'd yeah. written about it. Right. Because the author, the American author that I, I've since been introduced to, I didn't read then. So it was Colette. And, and I think for a lot of girls, it was Colette mm. in, in, in my... I mean, the one word, we knew that Colette wrote books about us, right. in a way. Mm. I did find all the... Uh, what did you make of the whole sort of subtext of Claudine and being a schoolgirl and all that? Those moments where she was wearing... Because I didn't know what that I didn't realise what, what, what that no. was. I thought it was a, no. a sort of... So that was his... That was his... His work, thing. I mean, it? again, you start to unpack it and you begin to realise that Dominic West's character was deeply, deeply suspect Ooh, yeah. on every level. Yeah, don't forget as well this was Paris. <laughs> and, I mean, I mean, Anything goes. No, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. People are into the schoolgirl sex vibe, aren't yeah. they? I mean, and, and more or less everything did go. Um, yeah. You know, so in that sense, the very fact that she could come out as, you know, with Denise Goff in the end and whatever, yeah. if she could do it anywhere, she could do it in Paris, yeah. is my point. I have to give a nice shout out. I thought Denise Goff was, was a beautifully understated part. We know her from oh the theatre in London. Amazing. She's very good and transformed. I mean, like, barely yeah. recognisable, was yeah. she? Yeah. Nice, relaxed performance. Very, very relaxed, good, very yeah. unshowy. And uh, well, I, I have to say, I was quite impressed by how unshowy everyone's performances yeah. were. They were. It was an incredibly. Well directed. Well done, yeah, yeah, precisely, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, in sum up, let's summarise. Uh, Nadia, why don't you lead? I think this was a really nice surprise. As mm. I said, I was dreading it. It was a job of work to walk into the cinema. I had to buy popcorn because I thought <laughs> I'm going to need something. So I'm going to enjoy this. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I want, I'd like to read her books now. Mm, yeah. And mm. I want to know more about her. I want to know what happened to the rest in the rest of her life. Yeah. So I'm, no, I'm really interested now in her. And, and I have to say, I am now a convert of Dominic West, so I thought he was phenomenal. Again, mm. I'd love to see him on stage now. Yeah. So I would give it... You were early in the year, you don't want to start too high, having already given a 10 plus for the favourite. Yeah. I liked the script, I liked the look of it, I liked the directing, I liked the acting. It's gonna have to have an eight. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, like you, I mean, I totally share, I totally share the idea. I was, I was going in slightly dreading this and slightly worried, not really in, its, in and of its own right, but Kira Knightley's never really floated my boat up until probably now, I thought, 
if there's the emergence of Kira Knightley, the serious actor, I yeah. think this is it. Yeah. Um, I think it was a very um, gracious cast performance by Fiona Shaw, Dominic West, and what have you. And I think Kira looked like she had been supported, and yeah, it just looked yeah. like a it was very good chemistry between, was, good chemistry was, between yeah. all of them. I have to say, the absolute guilty pleasure was I found Dominic West utterly enthralling yeah, to watch. Yeah, really I went from worrying about how everything he's in, he has a terrible hairpiece on his head <laughs> or on his chin, to not only liking him, but he's become my latest man crush. Yeah. So Dominic West, geez, thanks ever so much. Kira Knightley, lovely. Denise Goff, Fiona Shaw, absolutely wonderful. Um, I... Can we just quickly say that he's also his performance was really, un can you say unveiling? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, he farts in it, and we all commented on it. We've I've never seen never in seen a movie a key anybody character. fart, and he is. He's plump and he farts yes. and yeah. he pees. But well, he doesn't fart a lot. There's one scene where he just farts, and Kira goes. Really? Yeah. No, but it was so brilliant. It was that so scene brilliantly done. It was, it was saying so like was the yeah. brutality. Yes. Because this is the intimacy of marriage. Yes. This is the savage yeah. intimacy of savage marriage. Intimate. Savage intimacy. And we've forgotten brilliant his brilliant. other brilliant line. What's his other brilliant? Well, I can't remember the exact words, but he talks about theatre being like an interminable like... procedure at the dentist. No, he says, bad theatre is like dentistry. So yeah. So my score. I, I I was impressed. I was impressed. I probably wouldn't go to an eight. I'd go to a seven point five. The scenes in the countryside and everything. I thought were beautiful. I mean, it looked gorgeous, the whole film. It lost me very slightly when she became a music hall player. Very mm. slightly. Mm. Um, but I, I, it made me want to read the Claudine books. And I've never oh, right, that's interesting. The Claudine books. Um, I want to read a biography of her. Yeah, mm. no, it's fascinating. I would give it 7.5. I wouldn't go, quite go as high as 8. Can I just ask you, as a, as a self-declared feminist of the 70s, though, mm. surely this is the bread and butter of what you as feminists were fighting for? Yeah. Recognition too. of hidden female talent. Yeah, it is. Hidden it is. behind sort of demonstrative and patriarchal men. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what was that great line for Shaw? Well, no, I've got it, I've got it. Don't get used to marriage, let, let marriage get, get used, used to, to you. you. Yeah. And yeah. yet, so that when she finally walked out, out of that door and walked mm. away from you, your heart did soar. Mm. And it was odd, because she was, because but isn't, she was but, but strong other, anyway. But here's the other strange contradiction to the story, was that if she hadn't fallen, if you like, into the, the trap, if you like, of Dominic West in real life, she wouldn't have found the outlet no. to express herself. So no, he was yeah. cri a critical yeah, component critical. in her getting her stuff out. But she, what I liked was that point where she was cuckolded and she made a decision herself as to which way she was going to go in this marriage. There was a creative sort of pragmatism kicked in where she thought this can work for yeah. me too. Yeah, yeah. She was yeah. a survivor. You, do you know that towards the end of her life, the last affair she had was with her 16 year old stepson? That's bizarre. From the film, I thought she would then be a lesbian for the rest oh, of her I life. See. I oh, no, but I said then go back to a well, boy. Even and a boy, a 16 year old boy. And a stepson. It's French. What worries me just slightly, and maybe why I gave it a 7.5, is that some people will think, oh, she wrote rubbish. Mm. She wrote sort mm. of salacious rubbish. Like well, I think Jackie. there is a danger that I didn't, I mean, well, you I know. I don't have that sense at all. You keep both saying Pulp Fiction. I had the sense that she wrote this beautiful prose and he came in a way, Gonna have to slot a bit of sex in here. Gonna have to do. Gonna have to do that. And that mm. she was a beautiful writer. And I knew nothing about her. That's that's what I'm left maybe. with. Maybe. Oh, well, I thought. Well, maybe I tell you the only way to decide this because we're gonna have a fight otherwise <laughs> is to read a Claudine and then to read what was the book that she wrote? The Purgatory. La, 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 yeah? la vagabond, vagabond. The Vagabond or Gigi. Gigi. Or Gigi. Gigi. Gigi's our yeah. Gigi. Yeah. Um, so we have to read post Willy and pre Willy, yeah. and we'll get a sense of it. Sounds saucy. Sounds <laughs> it was a very saucy film at times. For more film and family fun, don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to never miss an update.